again, my lawyer friends. Rule 1.4.2 is a strange rule. I don't know enough history of the legal profession to know why it's necessary, but I assume it is here for a good reason. Keep watching to learn about your disclosure obligations regarding liability insurance. Rule 1.4.2 requires you to inform your client in writing if you know or reasonably should know that you have no professional liability insurance. You must make this disclosure at the time the client engages you, so you can put it in your retainer agreement. This disclosure allows your client to decide that he or she doesn't want to hire a lawyer without liability insurance. If you discover that you have no insurance after your client hires you, you must inform your client in writing within 30 days of the date that you know or reasonably should know that you no longer have insurance. One interesting aspect of these disclosure requirements is that you have to make the disclosure even if you don't know, but you reasonably should know. And of course, if you reasonably should know that you have no insurance, but you actually don't know, then you literally cannot know to make the disclosure. Maybe it's to protect against willful ignorance. Regardless of whether this makes any sense, you still have to disclose even though you might not know you have to. Now remember, these rules are here to punish you, not for guidance as to best practices. There are a few exceptions to this rule. First, if you know at the time your client hires you that your representation will not exceed four hours, then you do not need to make this disclosure. But if you go on to do more than four hours of work, then if you don't have insurance, you must disclose. If you are a government or in-house lawyer and representing a client in that capacity, you don't need to make this disclosure. This exception only applies if you are directly employed by the government or corporate client. If you are actually outside counsel for such an entity, then you are still subject to the, to the disclosure requirements. If you are rendering services in an emergency to avoid foreseeable prejudice to the rights or interests of the client, then you don't need to disclose. And if you previously advised the client in writing that you do not have liability insurance, then you don't have to make another disclosure. The comments after the rule suggest certain language for the disclosure, and I will post a link to the rule in the description below. So if you don't have insurance, then you can just click the link to find the language. That covers rule 1.4.2. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
to get more free videos covering the rules of professional conduct and other advice that will help you in your legal career.